Hi there, Lloyd Macedo, speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com and who's Lloyd Macedo. Today the date is 30th of June 2016, time right now is 1.08 in the afternoon. Okay, I got this question uh, from somebody, uh, from, uh, he's a friend of mine who's overseas and he's asking, Lloyd, I've been reading all these reports about recession in Dubai, so is Dubai finished? Okay, good question. I don't know for where people get there. Uh, see, first and foremost, you need to understand this. When there is a good news, when there's something good, it doesn't travel very far, very fast. However, if there is a bad news, everyone spreads it out, even if it's not true. Now, the question about Dubai being finished or Dubai having a recession. All right, let me answer this question. Now, First and foremost, I am an authority to speak uh, about Dubai. Why? Because I have been born and raised in Dubai for 36 beautiful years. And I can tell you, so from that experience, I can definitely speak something, okay? And I'll tell you this. Uh, many years ago, many, many years ago, when I was just 9 or 10 or 11 years old, my uncle, who was a barber working in a rather posh joint, uh, he used to, you know, he, he always liked to gossip. He always liked to gossip. And he would always say, oh, all the bad news. He'd say, oh, expenses are so much and it's so expensive. Dubai is finished. So take my, I challenge you, take my word for it. Dubai is finished. Okay. Now, the funny thing is, uh, from that point, Dubai has only grown and grown and grown and grown. In fact, in the last 10 years, Dubai has shot up to such proportions, it's unbelievable. Just think of it, a desert, a desert in the Middle East, which was nothing, had absolutely nothing but Badunians, you know, just nomads walking around with camels. It became a city, it became a trading hub, it became, uh, uh, it grew and became a tourist destination with few touristy places. And today it's become the major business hub of the world. It's become the number one tourist destination, bragging about the, the tallest building, the largest shopping mall, the largest man-made island. I mean, uh, who would ever dream or who could even imagine such a possibility in a desert where there's no natural resources apart from maybe oil, okay? They are building up wonders after wonders. So, if it has happened for the last 36 years that Dubai has keep growing and growing and growing and growing, thanks to the leadership of this country, tell me, how is it humanly possible? How is it possible that Dubai is going to be finished? You, you think the leadership of this country that is taking this country forward is not planning out 10 years ahead, 20 years ahead, 30 years ahead? Just think. Now, let me ask you a question. If you, as a human being, you are thinking for the next year, what are my expenses? What is it that I need to do to survive, sustain, and grow? If you are planning for yourself and your family, you think Dubai, which has the greatest leadership in the world, the, the most visionary leaders that you have ever seen, I mean, are they going to allow Dubai to just run aground? You must be crazy. See, they have the money to bring in, rope in the best brains from around the world. They, whatever they do, they don't do it for today and tomorrow. They don't do it for one year. They are planning out like five years, 10 years ahead. Agreed that a lot of things which are not in their hands, let's say, for example, global recession or the you know housing bubble market that crashed or bad investments. Yes, nobody can prevent that. Nobody can predict that. But then they're always on their toes. They're always making sure that they look after themselves because... It's like this is their baby. This is this is where they, uh, you know, take so much of pride, their work, their signature. So, you know, the analogy is very simple. If you as a person, you're doing whatever it takes to survive, to sustain, to thrive and grow for you and your family, that you're not going to take any reckless risks that is going to destroy them. And you're going to make sure that your children complete schooling, college, and become something in life. If you as an individual parent with average or below average leadership, just, just ask yourself, these visionary giants, these larger than life leaders who have extraordinary vision to make a desert 
one of the richest places in the world, a wonder. Do you seriously think that they have not thought five years ahead, 10 years ahead, 20 years ahead, that they have not carefully laid down not only plans but action steps to make Dubai the greatest of what it can possibly be forever? I mean, you must be crazy. I have been here for 36 years and I can tell you without a doubt, Dubai is forever, forever going to grow. It's forever going to be a wonder of the world. It's forever going to be in the papers and they are going to be the greatest success story in years to come because it has happened before. It's going to continue happening and I don't see this ever stopping at least for the next three or four, three or four or five generations to come. I don't know after that what's going to happen. So live from livemesido.com and it was Live Macedo sharing with you his views on the thought, is Dubai finished? The answer, you just got it. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Goodbye for now.